guys. All right, so I have forever been saying that when I come across something on social media that I discover, I am going to take the time to diligently share it with you. And I obsess over things on social media that I can't figure out until I research the blogs and find them. And I tell you what, Caleb and I, my son, were doing this fun little just random uh, experiment with some chocolate chip cookie dough. Yes, chocolate chip cookie dough marshmallows, like a little taste testing experiment thing. And I just decided, since he was so excited about it, that we were gonna try out Instagram Live because I do a lot of Facebook Live with work, but I never, ever, 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 ever do Instagram Live. So again, a lot of my Social with Sarah channels are to just explore and experiment. And what better way than try Instagram Live and whatever, right? I never go Instagram Live. Honestly, it was probably my first post ever. So first of all, I was excited to do an Instagram Live with my son, Caleb. But after the whole little marshmallow um, experiment, trying the, these different random flavors of marshmallows, I ended the live. And after I ended the live, it did not save to my phone. And I was thinking, huh, that's weird. So if I was ever talking to clients about doing Instagram Live, uh, what does that mean for the rest of your social media content channels? Because I'm always encouraging, hey, when you do anything on social media, you can increase all of your viewership. If you have different platforms, post them on different places, your YouTube, whatever you're doing, right? Well, how is that possible with Instagram Live if you can't save it afterwards or if you forget? So all the blogs that I was reading was saying after you're ending your Instagram Live, you have to hit save otherwise it won't save. I'm like, oh no! Even though that like little random live that I did with Caleb, now it's gone. I can't save it to my stories. I can't do anything. It's done after 24 hours. What's the deal? Well, I figured it out. So there's a blog that I read and I will show you exactly how to do this. You need your Mac if you have a Windows. I'm so sorry. I'll have to look up how to do that, but you can. You can save your Instagram live on your computer and it's with a QuickTime player, and I'll show you exactly how to do this because I figured it out, and hey, now you're gonna know how to do this. So depending on how important that live was, yes, you can save it because I just saved it myself. Okay, so here we go. So, finished the live, right? We're gonna go to my face ID. Okay, so you plug in your iPhone, and I'll do it here. And now it's connected to your computer, right? So here's your little blog, Save Instagram Stories to your Mac. Voila! You're going to open up a QuickTime player. I've never used this before, but um, I'm so thankful that I've discovered what a QuickTime player is. Oh my gosh. Okay, so QuickTime player. Now you're recording what's on your screen. And I'm sorry if I'm like so late to the game on the QuickTime player, but this thing is awesome. So then you're gonna go to a new screen. You're gonna go down to, on the QuickTime player, you've got the little red button and you'll go to your iPhone. Voila! It's now the screen of my phone. And that is my Instagram. Do you follow the genius yet? So then you're going to go to the live that you just did, you just played, and voila, as you hit it, you're going to hit a new recording. And there you go. It's recording, the whole thing. You've got a new recording and it will save to your computer and it's the best thing ever because the bulldog agrees that we're, <laughs> that we're saving your Instagram live. I think it's brilliant, I think it's fantastic. Um, you'll just let the whole thing play, and there we are. I'll cut to the chase. I did not like the marshmallow cookie dough, but, um, no, I think that this is fantastic. I think any of the live videos that you forget to save, you can use a easy little quick time player on your computer, record the screen. I mean, I never thought of doing this, and I've never even recorded my screen before, but now I know how people are doing these things, 
and it saves you so much time and headache and frustration. And it was fun little just Instagram randomness and I'll figure out a little bit more about why to go Instagram live. And I've noticed that my viewers just aren't really watching live for whatever reason, but anything that you're recording live in the moment in the live aspect, repurpose them, retool them. I'll keep experimenting, but in the meantime, Make sure you save all your precious hard work with your lives because you never know when you're going to repurpose this stuff for blogs or YouTube or whatever you're doing. I'm always a huge believer in saving that content, repurposing it, no matter what you're going to do with recap videos or whatever you're doing. So bye for now and enjoy your Instagram Live saving tool tip.